afternoon, Anderson's class. Five point five number lines with fractions, decimals, and percents. Can you use number lines to plot points? Yes. Here we go. Tick. What is another name for a tick? Integral. Sweet. Number lines are the best mathematical tools in the world. True or false? True. Converting means to change. change. All right, here we go. Really fast. Um, I'm going to give you a um, conversion, and you're going to tell me how to do it in as few words as possible. Ready? How do you convert from a fraction to a decimal? Five. How do you convert from a decimal to a fraction? How do you convert from a percent to a decimal? Five. Which is the same as how many bunny hops to the left? Two. How do you go from a decimal to a percent? Five. Which is the same as how many bunny hops to the right? Two. How do you convert from a percent to a fraction? Five. What does per mean? And how do you go from a fraction to a percent? Five. Boom. All right, here we go. I have three numbers. Four tenths, 100 over 280 percent, yeah? I need to put them on this number line right here, yeah? Yes. This number line is using what for its tick marks? Fractions. Fractions, right? Yes. So can I put four tenths on that number line before converting it to a fraction? Yes. I can? I can just put it on there before I convert it to a fraction? No, I need to convert it to a fraction. So we know that we can convert four tenths to a fraction by just reading it, right? Yes. So four tenths is the same as 0.4, yes? yes? Now can I put 0.4 on the number line? Yes. When I label it, should I label it 0.4 or should I label it 4 tenths? 0.4. 4, right? 4. Which is 4 tenths, good. Same with 100 over 200. Now, 100 over 200 is a fraction, isn't it? Yeah. But is my denominators on my number line 100, like, or um, 200? No. No, so I reduce it down to 1 half, but I still don't have common denominators, do I? No. So then I multiplied by 5. Now do I have common denominators when I get a 10? Yes. You guys cool with that? 80% yes. needed to be converted again to a fraction. Yes. And then I actually had to reduce it, didn't I? Yes. So I had a denominator of 10. Yes. We cool with this? Yes. Um, how about this guy? Put the following numbers in order from greatest to least. I took all these numbers here and I put them in fraction form and then we decided we didn't like that. Why didn't we like that? We still can't compare the fractions because they don't have common denominators. We have a 5, a 10, a we can't compare fractions with unlike denominators, right? So we converted them all to decimals, and then what do we do? Yeah. Stack them. But was it a lot easier to put them in order then? Yeah. Could have we also use percents if we wanted to? Yeah. You guys cool with all this? Yeah. 